And we're back. We're back, baby. Oh, I need cans. You need cans? Ugh. Nice. Maybe, unless you want me to do this whole thing deaf. <laughs> <laughs> it's a deaf jam, baby. It's a deaf jam, baby. So, um, basically, I just, I just want to wrap this up. We've got... Um, there's... Sorry, that list scared the wee out of me. It I, did. I had to it go. It scared the wee out of me, man. Here's the problem, is that it's uh, it's so expansive. There's so many different... There's so many different ones. So here's 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 what I'm going to ask you to do. Dive into your mind palace and give me, instead of an expansive list, give me, I, and I feel like I already know where you're going to go with this. Mm-hmm. Um, if, I, if I said give me your top three spoopy movies and your top three spooky movies. Okay. If I had to guess, I'm going to say your top three spooky movies are going to end up being... Um, the innkeepers, um, sinister and Sidious, in Insidious, Insidious. Sorry, yeah, those movies freak me out, man. Okay, and then your spoopy movies, like, uh, like they freaked me out so bad that I have seen them once and I have been afraid to see them again. Okay, like I, I've tried. And haven't been able to finish it. And that's because of your because of your experience with the um what would you call it? It's because of your experience with the supernatural. With, sure. With with the potential. Things ghosting. I can't explain. Sure. Gotcha. Yeah. Um, so that being said, spoopy movies. John dies at the end. Yeah, I love that one. Okay. Uh, what's what are two more spoopy movies that you would then say out of that list? Say these are the t- these are the top three. I would probably have to say the Final Girls. Mm, I do not know that one. The Final Girls. Mm-mm. So it was a toss up for the second one between the Final Girls and Tucker and Dale versus Evil. I I I had trouble. Okay. Between those two, the final girls has Tessa Farmiga in it, uh-huh. Vera Farmiga's sister. Okay, um, it also has Malin Ackerman playing her mother. Um, okay, the final girls is a movie where Tessa Farmiga and her friends go to this like midnight movie show at this theater, mm-hmm. and the movie they're watching stars. Taste of Farmiga's mother, Malin Ack- played by Mar- Malin Ackerman. Okay, and it's basically like Camp Crystal Lake, f- uh, Friday the Thirteenth, sure. type of story. But the movie theater burns down, and her and all of her friends get sucked into the movie. Oh, so they're like stuck inside this movie, trying to get out of it. Um, and you know, she's able to interact with her mom again, who has died in real life. Mm-hmm. Um, and you know, she's coming to terms with her mom's death as, mm-hmm. you know, as well as being around all these like 80s stereotypical horror characters. Nice. Um, yeah, it's, it's, you know, just kind of a fun Halloween movie. Okay. So you would do Final Girls and uh, uh, Tucker and what is it called? Tucker, Tucker and, and Dale versus Dale. Evil. I, I think those two are like tied for second place. Oh, so not two and three, but I they're they're tied for second place. Okay, I, I would have a third. Oh, you would have a third. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Well, your unfortunately, third you're, you're cheating. I I am. You're cheating. I am. It's so hard for me to make these lists, man. <laughs> I got. I have. To, I have to get these other things in my mind. In there somehow. <laughs> uh, I would probably say Evil Dead 2, man. Evil Dead 2. Evil oh, Dead okay, 2. as a spoopy. Gotcha. Yeah, uh, as a spoopy. Like, yeah. it's, you know, it, it mixes the crazy Evil Dead ideas with slapstick Three Stooges gotcha. type comedy. Gotcha. Okay. Uh, like smacking him in the face and, you know, poking his eyeballs out. Mm-hmm. <laughs> and, you know, just just silliness. No, that's a good one. I, I actually, I think, I think that's, I think that's a really, really good one. Um, that would definitely make, uh, that definitely make my my list on the spoopies. Um, I think if I did spooky movies, I think I would go uh, Blair Blair Witch again. Is still is still at uh, top of my list. Um, Paranormal Activity is probably number two, and. 
probably the gate is number three. Okay. Um, again, the paranormal activity thing gets me because of the, the ghost type aspect to it, not necessarily the possession yeah. aspect of I'm, it. I'm, but I'm the, not going to make fun of you, make fun of you for any of those choices. Yeah. Um, <laughs> on air or off air. On air or off air. Not behind. <laughs> maybe behind my back. Though. No, I, not um, even behind your back. I, I would not diss you on on those choices. Boopies. Um, I would. I. I definitely. I definitely dig my, me some Shaun of the Dead. Okay. I'm a big. I'm a big okay. fan of that. Did you know that's part of a trilogy? Um, it's. Well, they're all. It's not the same characters, though. It's all not the same characters, but it's considered a trilogy. Yeah, because the uh, at World's End is or World's End is the last the last one, right? Yeah. Um, they have a name for it. I can't remember what it's called. Cornado or Cornello. Cornello. Thank the you. Cornello trilogy. Cornello trilogy. Yeah. Yeah, that's right. It's Edgar Edgar Wright. Right. Directed all of these. They're all like British satirical horror right. movies. Because the first one was Hot Fuzz. Sec- second one was Hot Fuzz. Oh, second one was Hot Fuzz. Sorry. Yeah. Second one was Hot Sha- Fuzz. Shaun of the Dead. And then um, Hot and, Fuzz. And then World's End. World's End. Gotcha. As part of that, that's a trilogy. Gotcha. They all have uh, like the same actors, mm-hmm. but not not same characters. Right. Right. No, those are those are good. I, like I said, Shaun of the Dead. As far as a horror, you know, horror spoopy, you know, spoopy movie, Shaun of the Dead is is in there. I don't know if I call that my number one. And I I contemplated throwing those on my list. Yeah, evil Contem- contemplated, but they didn't make it. Evil Dead Two is pretty high up there. Um, does it make my top three? Possib- possibly, possibly. Um, what would be my third? I never I never really thought like I didn't think about spoopy movies because I was like my brain was completely in in. Um, spooky mode yeah um, I, I didn't know where you wanted to go my list was like 50 long i get i mean here's the thing <laughs> I, I was just thinking of like all of the october movies that i enjoy i'm gonna i'm gonna go this might be a little out of the box but i'm gonna go this way with it just because of some of the ones that were on your list uh i'm gonna say ghostbusters is probably my number one spoopy movie okay right okay. and then evil dead probably evil dead 2 is probably my number two and Shaun of the dead's probably my number three cool that's probably the order. That's probably the order I would yeah, go with. I, I wouldn't make fun of you for that. List however, <laughs> however, I contemplated all those. We need to all recognize the very best Halloween movie of all time. Do you know what it is? Uh, e. T. <laughs> e. T. Oh yeah. Nobody thinks about E. T. Baby. No. E. T. E. T. Is the ultimate was, Halloween movie. I was even trying to think of movies that were set in October. Yeah. When I was making my list and. Donnie Darko was the main one that I could think of that was set that's a good one in October. That's a good one. I, I would back, back to the Future was another one that's set in October, yeah. but it didn't make my list. E. T. Ultimate Halloween movie, a good one. Good one. Uh, people forget about it because it is a family movie. Uh, but but D. D Wallace, she uh, yeah. she was in the Frighteners, Queen Queen of Halloween, baby. D. Wallace, E. T. The Frighteners, <laughs> and um. The third one we talked about it the other day, um, the innkeepers. She's an innkeeper. Yes, right. Queen of Halloween. So, so, so watch. Uh, thank you, D. Wallace. Thank you, D. Wallace. So watch, watch E. T. All right, my man. We have been going a while, and yeah, I've had to make like five pee breaks. <laughs> I apologize. <laughs> it's, it's okay, uh, but it was a good conversation, and so I may have dribbled on your floor. Yes, and so moving forward, you probably I think you did, but ne- <laughs> for the next one, here's what we're gonna do: um, we're gonna get you a diaper. We're just gonna get you a diaper, and it, that's, it depends, and that's and that's what we're gonna do. We're just gonna get you a diaper and call it a day. So uh, next week, oh baby. Next time, not next week, but next time. Butt Itch Project, live screening. Oh my gosh. Rock and roll. Are you as excited as I am about it? Yeah. I'm you, super excited. Do you want me to bring my Super 8 that we shot it on? Uh, sure. Yeah. A little show and tell. Why not? Okay. We'll do that. And they, 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 can, they can get a look at it and see what it was like. Cool. Um, but until we revisit with the Butt Itch Project, where can the kids find you on social media these days uh, oh i was gonna say i'm right here but on social media on i'm social on twitter media. and where can they find you on twitter uh i'm at the rut legend i think at 
the rut legend on twitter and you can find me on Twitter, Twitch, and Instagram at Zach M. Rutledge. And don't forget to check out our normal live streams on Thursday nights at 8 p.m. As long as COVID doesn't strike again, we will be here. And the podcast is released every Friday, typically every Friday, on Apple uh, Podcast, on Amazon. Buzzsprout. Buzzsprout. Um, Twitter. Google. Not Twitter. YouTube. It will hit YouTube. I don't know. But you can also catch us. Make sure you catch us on Twitch during the live streams on Twitch at Zach M. Rutledge on Twitch. All right, my man. Let's get out of here. Peace out, everybody. Deuces. Peace out.